Hello, the internet. I'm Mers, and it's time for Spit Valves. So what exactly is all this spit that we have in our instruments? Is it really spit? Well, I can think of a couple other things it could be. It could also be condensation. It could also be some valve oil. It could also be some germs and bacteria. So yeah, it's probably mostly spit, but I don't know really. If somebody is uncomfortable with the idea of spit coming out of an instrument, you can do this secret. You can call it water. Oh, I'm going to empty out my water, or I am going to use my water key instead of spit valve. Now all of a sudden you sound really sophisticated like those orchestra players. Let me tell you who is the worst culprit of spittle everywhere. It's those crazy clarinet players. I tell you what, these things, they're just, you gotta wear a hazmat to be around them when they're playing. You know, when, when they're on the reed, there's like <laughs> coming all around. Sometimes it comes out of this little key right here on the side and it's just like dripping or, or ever. And then sometimes it's dripping out of the bell. People just like licking this piece of wood that they stick here every day. They don't even have any way to control it. It's just spraying it everywhere. So brass players, when the rest of the group is giving you a hard time and they say you're gross because of your spit, just remind those reed players that they're spraying everywhere and just remind those orchestra players that they're actually just rubbing metal wires with horsehair covered in tree sap. So for some reason, people all over the place are talking about hygiene and sanitation and being healthy. So I thought, well, we could do a video about spit valves and the best practices for using our spit valve and our spit valve etiquette. And I've got some great hacks for you guys. So let's jump right into them. Never form your lips together in an embouchure while you're blowing out your spit. That just sounds gross. Instead, put your lips around the mouthpiece, or at least one lip, like maybe the bottom lip, or both of them. That way you don't have to worry about accidentally making a noise. Never empty your spit valve in the middle of a quiet section of a piece of music. If you've got some water stuck in there during the quiet section, what do you do? Well, we're gonna have to use the silent shake. And here's how you do it. You just hold it open and give it a good shake. The silent shake isn't gonna get every single drop out as effectively as if you blew through it, but it will get you far enough to the next loud section where you can empty it. Another thing beginners and rookies forget to do is always empty before you begin playing. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please welcome the great Murs to the stage. This is especially common in auditions. I hear people all the time who forget to empty their water. It's the worst. Trumpet number 23, please play your C scale. <laughs> Instead, just take a couple seconds to empty out before you begin playing. And it's also common practice to turn around and not empty right in front of the audience. And trombone players, I know it's tempting, but never, ever, ever empty your spit on somebody's head or shoe. So oh, class, if you'll all turn to measure 53, we need to talk about our intonation in this section right here. It has been very bad. Billy! 
Instead, just empty it right in front of you. Come on, keep it to yourself. There are a lot of ways you can empty out your spit. So let's talk about a couple of them. Now the first and easiest is you can just do it right on the floor. But it's kind of gross, so ooh, I don't know about that one. You can also use a rag. That works fine. You can also use a sponge. If you play the piccolo, you might want to use a cute little jar. Or with the cornet, you might want a medium-sized little glass. Cheers! Maybe a small-sized bowl for the trumpet. Come here, Fido. And of course, a large bowl for the trombone. Okay, well, I hope you found those hacks helpful. If you did, like and subscribe below. Also, send me some comments about some other videos we can do. Looking forward to it. Talk to you later.